Greetings YouTube, there's a video that I've been waiting to make for, I thought it was a couple weeks, and apparently it's been longer than a month, because uh, I don't do Alliance War. I'm very proud of that just because it was the most miserable I've ever been playing this game, and this was like a year and a half ago when the worst defenders were Medusa and Korg. Uh, I just don't do it, but I would say most of you do. And so I have been told that this is true in different uh, game settings, but especially in Alliance War, that Nick Fury is bugged. And that Nick Fury uh, often can, um, without warning, automatically turn into the quote-unquote real Nick Fury when you start a fight. He'll start losing health. And yeah, he'll, I guess, cause more bleed damage and not be able to be stunned. But part of the appeal of Nick Fury is having the ability to lose all of your health and then refresh it and turn into the quote-unquote real Nick Fury and then, you know, do the damage that you're trying to do. So what's crazy about this bug is that it can turn on and off and it's almost like flipping a coin. It reminds me of Two-Face from Batman, which yes, I know that's a DC reference and this is a Marvel game and a Marvel channel, but just bear with me. It's like a, a coin flip 50-50 shot as to whether or not when you jump into a fight with Nick Fury that he's going to be bugged and you just don't know if he's going to be or not until you're in it. That's how it's been described to me, actually. So this is an example uh, this week of an Alliance War fight where Nick Fury has started off at only 26% health because uh, he started as the real Nick Fury and his health just started to go down as soon as the fight started against Emma Frost. Now, this is one of the original posts. I joined a quest and Nick Fury had no persistent charges and went immediately into his second phase, aka the real Nick Fury. And so without the persistent charge, you are automatically without that protection because one thing I love about Nick Fury is that if say I'm fighting Hyperion and he gets pushed to a special three and he uses it and I still have that persistent charge, uh, I'm not going to be knocked out. I might go back to 100% health and then slowly lose it as the fight goes on, but that is nice. Well, Kabamboo, this is on October 5th. So again, I've been hearing about this for over a month, but I kind of just thought that the problem would resolve itself, even though people occasionally would say, Prof, have you seen this? Do you know Nick Fury's bugged? And I'd say, you know, what content was this in? When did it happen? How often does it happen? Gaining data, etc. cetera. Kabamboo, Kabamboo. I don't know why I just called you Kabamboo. That would make you a cow. Hi, folks. We apologize. Interesting spelling. I apologize that you are facing some issues with Nick Fury. Could you please elaborate on the inconsistency? Does it only occur in Alliance War, Alliance Quest, or others? This would be very helpful for us. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. Cheers. Well, that was October 5th at the beginning of last month. And, of course, now it is officially November 13th, Friday the 13th. That just hit me that that is today. Um, okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, scary times. So I have also uh, been sent this video as further visual evidence of uh, a plea to finally make it and uh, yes, uh, it also can happen in Alliance War. This is tripping me out. Line app can give you messages that fly across the screen like, like a plane that's got a banner dragging behind it. Did I just see that correctly? I don't think that's my sleep deprivation kicking in, but maybe it is. And uh, here is the Emma shot again. And here is a video of Nick Fury fighting Thing, where uh, he started at 40% health because the previous fight, he did not have a persistent charge, and then he started the next one with it back. So I guess that's a plus in that he can uh, survive longer, but it's also a bit frustrating that... Uh, he probably lost that health to begin with because it was uh, leaving his body given that the fight started without the persistent charge. So uh, there you have it. We don't have to watch this full thing fight. The uh, point was made. 
I just hope that Kabam can acknowledge it because I, as somebody that doesn't do Alliance War, uh, did not realize how many people bring in Nick Fury until the past month when I got asked this question every week. I'm sorry for those of you that contacted me at the beginning of October that I'm just now making this video now, but hey, better late than ever. So the question is, when is Kabam going to fix Nick Fury? I don't know, but what I do know is that people need to keep filing help tickets and let them know that the problem is not fixed because if they aren't going to uh, be forced to address it, they might kick the can down the road until 2021. And this will just keep happening, especially for those of you in Alliance War, because this bug benefits them. Remember, historically speaking, if something benefits Kabam, they're just going to ignore it for a couple months. And if something benefits the player, it'll be patched up in an emergency maintenance three days ago. So I know that's frustrating, but it's just the reality of what we've seen for years. It's their sandbox. You got to play in it, for lack of a better analogy. Uh, so here's a video. I covered it. Sorry it took so long, but uh, hopefully it gave a voice to some of you out there who are so frustrated by this, and I definitely get and empathize with the frustration.